In this video, I'll show you guys how to use Sideloady to sideload any IPA on your iOS device. With this method, you can sideload wirelessly, meaning you don't even have to connect your cable. So before starting, make sure that your iOS device and your computer are in fact connected to the exact same network. So now, we can proceed with the next step. Open up any browser, I'd say Chrome, and then open up the Sideloadly website, sideloadly.io here. And I'll leave this in the description for you guys as well. And so what you're gonna do here is download Sideloadly for what you have. So since I'm on Windows 64 bit, I'm gonna click download here. And we're also going to download iTunes here. So I have iTunes 64 bit. And then we're going to download iCloud as well. So for iTunes, you can actually download it from the Apple website. But for iCloud, you must download the iCloud app from here. Since Apple doesn't show the download for iCloud on their website anymore. So before even opening Sideloadly, I'm going to first set up iTunes and iCloud. So just click on downloads and then click on iTunes 64 setup here. And then you'll see this bar here and it's going to give you this prompt here. Welcome to iTunes. Click next and then make sure all of these are checkmarked and then click install. You'll get a user account control prompt. Click yes. And so do note that this does take quite some time. It'll take a minute or two maybe even longer like for me it's taking more than two to three minutes and then you'll get another user account control prompt click yes and then just click finish and make sure open itunes after the installer exits is on so click finish and then you'll get the itunes software license agreement click agree and now you're into itunes so what you guys want to do is sign into the itunes store so just click on this over here and so you're just going to enter in your apple id here and so once you've entered in your apple id we now must give authorization so what you're going to do is just click on account over here and then click authorizations and then click authorize this computer and then you'll be prompted to enter in your password again so i'll just do that really quickly and now you can see computer authorization was successful. You have authorized one computer out of your available five. So click OK. And now what we're going to do is actually click on your iDevice here. And we're going to make sure that these two settings are on. So the first one is automatically sync when this phone is connected. So make sure that's on. And then make sure sync with this iPhone over Wi-Fi is also on. So right now I do have my cable plugged in. So just to put these options in. So just click done and go back to your browser and now we're gonna open up the icloud setup here and then you'll see the license agreement for icloud for windows click accept click install and then you'll get another user account control prompt click yes and then you'll get another user account control prompt click yes and then you'll see welcome to icloud click finish and then it'll say you must restart your system for the configuration changes made to icloud to take effect so actually i'll just be back when i restart and right after you reboot you will see this icloud prompt telling you to sign in here and if you guys don't see it all you need to do is just click show hidden icons here and then click on iCloud and then click sign in here. It'll lead you to the same page. So I'll be back when I sign in. And now that we've actually signed in here, just open up Sideloadly. So click on your file explorer. And then go to downloads. And then just right click on Sideloadly here. Click run as administrator. And then click yes. And now just click next here. And click next. Click next. 
and then you'll see the installing page here. And now just make sure these two are checked and click finish. And then you'll see it open up right after. And then you'll just see this interface here. And so you can see my device over here. But if I click this little arrow here, you can also see at Wi-Fi. So right now it says at USB to my device. So there's also one just below it that says at Wi-Fi. And so for wireless IPA signing, this is what you will need to do. So click on Wi-Fi here. And now you're just going to find an IPA. So I can just go and search up uncover. And so just click on download. And then obviously I'm going to just download here. And obviously we're going to have to do this. And you'll see the uncover release right over here. So what we're going to do is now go into side loadly. And so now what we're going to do is just click on this IPA right over here. And we can go to downloads and then just click uncover release. And then you can even see the actual app icon logo here as well. And now you're just going to enter your Apple ID here and then just click start. So just to show you guys, I'm going to disconnect my actual device from USB. So it's not here and I'm going to click start. And then you'll get your Apple ID authentication. So just enter this in. And then you can just click this arrow here to see all of the details here. So you can see looking up app ID, registered dummy app ID and all of this stuff. Signing is right here. And so one thing I do want to say is make sure that your antivirus is off while this is going on. So as you can see, my Bitdefender has determined that it's a potentially unwanted app. So make sure you guys do turn off your antivirus here. So I'll be back when I do that. So now that I've actually turned off my antivirus, I'm going to click start again. And now you can see connecting and uploading. Please keep device screen on. So make sure that you guys do do that. And now it's installing here. And it's installed. So now I'm just going to head over to my iPhone. And so now you can see that my IPA is in fact here. So if I click on uncover over here, you can actually see that it does open up. So because I already have alt store on my actual iPhone and I've already trusted my Apple ID, it's going to open up automatically. But for most people, you're just going to go into settings general and then you're just going to go to vpn and device management and then obviously you're just going to trust it from there and you're also going to have to turn on developer mode so i'll make a video on that if you guys do want to know how to turn that on but anyways you can see that the app is in fact here and i can open it i can do whatever but obviously uncover isn't supported on ios 16.1 or anything higher so anyways i hope this video helped if it did, please leave a like and subscribe. If you guys want to know how to sideload apps on Alt Store, click the video in the top right. Thanks for watching.